Hola chiquiris! Welcome to today's diary entry. I'm Valeria Alicia. Today I'm bringing you my makeup haul slash Fame Expo haul. <laughs> this video is so long overdue. Fame Expo was back in June and I've been so naughty I have not filmed this for you guys. Besides the fact that I actually set everything aside, I have not touched anything that I purchased because I really wanted to sit down and film a video and now is the time. So um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and start with namings because this is where I did the most damage. Actually, I was really good this year. To be honest with you, last year I went ham and the year before that I went extra ham. So this year I was like, eh, I was saving up for it because I knew that there were things that I wanted to buy but I did not want to spend, buy it at full price. I was like, I'm just gonna save it for Fame Expo. And uh, I'm still shocked that I did not go ham. So, anywho, I'm gonna get started, cause, uh, <laughs> okay. I got Intoxicating, I got three of them. These are by Flutter Lashes. Jaclyn Hill talks about them all the time. And so I decided to pick up three pairs. I have one pair that I've only used once and I really do like the way these look on me. So I was like, yes, at a discounted price, give me three. So I picked up these three. And then I also picked up the um, Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This palette, I have been wanting it for the longest time, you guys. I kept putting it off and I was like, eh, I don't need it. No, I'm good, blah, 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 and then I had to pick it up. It was just telling me, can you just stop it and pick me up? So I did. It looks like this. I don't want stuff to come flying out of it, but I'm sure a lot of you have seen reviews and videos on this palette. This is what it looks like. It is just, oops, sorry, I don't mean to blind you <laughs> with that, but this is what it looks like. It is just such a beautiful color selection. And now with the fall coming, I just feel like I can do a lot with it, even though it's probably more of a spring kind of palette, but honestly, I don't really go with the seasons because I'm a rebel like that, but uh, yeah, I got that. And then also from Honestus Beverly Hills, I picked up the uh, set number seven brush. This is my second number seven brush that I buy. I absolutely love this brush to do my eyebrows. I'm a powder girl, I don't know if you guys know that. This is the brush that I use, not this one in particular, but number seven, is the one that I use today to do my brows. So I absolutely love it. I think it is definitely perfection simply because it just makes your life so much easier. It's super thin, so it's super easy to go in and blend out. It's just, I really, really like it. And then two things from Laura Mercier. I got this um, setting powder. What is it called? S uh, smooth foundation powder by Laura Mercier, and I got it in the color number nine. Jeez, I'm number nine. Um, and this is what it looks like. The reason I picked this one up is because I used the uh, do, 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 Mineralized Skin Finish, Mineral Skin Finish by um, MAC Cosmetics to set my under eyes. I've been on a kick with that. And so I asked, you know, what is something like that? And Kimberly was actually the one that asked when we were at Sephora, what is a product that is kind of similar to that, but not MAC? And they said that this is a really good setting powder. Like if you want to set your under eyes or just set your found liquid foundation with powder. And it also brings a sponge, which is down here. If you lift this up, oh, let me, I guess I should have shown you. So it comes like this and then you lift this up and there is your sponge, which you can use to blot or whatever you gotta do. Now I can't say that I'm an oily person. I get a little oily around my nose. Oops, I had like a little hair from my brushes. Um, a little oily around my nose, but it's not anything that crazy and it only happens at the very 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 end of the day so that is not really a struggle for me but I do like having this around just in case in case I have to have a long extra day I do like to have this with me just so that I can blot here and there it's just because I'm picky with my makeup but I really do like how it brings a really really nice mirror it is a really nice 
compact. So I got that. I haven't tried it yet, but I asked Kimberly recently if she has, because we both got it, and she said that she absolutely loves it. So I cannot wait to play with that. And then, also from Laura Mercier, I had to pick up a backup of the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. You guys, this is my ride or die. I stinking love this. Uh, this is what I have under my eyes right now because I set my <laughs> concealer with this. So I really, really, really love this uh, powder and it lasts such a long time and it's so big. I know it's a little pricey, but honestly, it's definitely worth it. So, oh, last thing, last thing. I thought I was done, but now I'm done. Last thing I picked up from uh, Namie's is by Stila and it is their um, Kitten Karma Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow and it's in the Kitten Karma. Now, when I was there, I could not remember for the life of me. I was like, which one is it? Oh my gosh, it's like pinky, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, uh, which one are you talking about? Like, which one is the most popular one? They were like, um, Kitten Karma. I was like, that's the one. <laughs> And then as soon as I tried it on, I was like, oh yeah, that's it. So this is what it looks like right here. And let me, oh my gosh, I cannot play. I cannot wait to play with this. Look at this. Wow. It's like in your face. Beautiful. So it is super pretty. And I can't believe that I've waited this long to play with that. <laughs> Moving on to Dose of Colors. I stuck by Dose of Colors, you guys. They make my favorite liquid lipstick formula. Actually, it's a toss between Dose of Colors and the Smashbox liquid lipsticks because I really love that formula too. But I go back and forth because I feel like it varies a little bit with um, the Smashbox depending on the color. For me, that's just my personal opinion. But it's such a big bag, right? You think that there's a lot in there? You wanna know what's in here? From those of colors, that is, because I had to put more things in there. Because <laughs> I bought other things and they were like, do you want a bag? And I was like, no, nah, let's just uh, uh, put it inside this other bag. Sorry, I have a hair that was stuck in my eyelash. Okay, so I got uh, these liquid lipstick in the color Old Flame. And I know that they had just came out with these like a week before, before I went to Fame Expo, but this color was just so pretty. I gravitate towards coral and orangey colors all the time. So let me swatch it here for you. Yep, I definitely had to pick it up. Look at that. So pretty. Oh, I'm such a sucker for these colors. And it's not like anything that I have in my collection, so yeah. That's definitely what makes my decision every single time. I'm like, do I have anything like it in my collection? Because if I do, then I'm probably not gonna pick it up ever. I'm already used to the other one that I have, or it's just gonna get overlooked. So I definitely make sure now to make sure that the whatever I pick up is definitely different or stands out from whatever I have in my collection. Okay, moving on. From OMG, what is it? Double Dare. I picked up another one of these headbands. They gave me one when I went to Fame Expo and honestly, they were such an amazing company that I had no problem spending my money on them. They were so nice and friendly when I met them at uh, Generation Beauty LA. Yeah, it wasn't San Francisco, it was in LA. But uh, this is basically like a headband that you put on. Let me open it. I have another one in black, but I just, you know my favorite color is turquoise. And uh, I mean, come on. So it looks like this and you put it on, it's like a little headband. So, and it's super soft, I love that. So I had to pick it up and I'm definitely gonna be using it to put on some masks and things like that. It's just super cute. One more thing. <laughs> So I wanted to try their three-step ma hair mask. Um, what is it called? OMG 3-in-1 Kit Hair Repair System. So the way this works is step one is your healing natural shampoo, step two is your recovery protein treatment, and then step three is a self-warming collagen and keratin infused mask cap. And that's this picture right here that they're showing you. And the reason why I wanted to pick this up, you guys, my ends are so bad. I just had to cut my hair, and I told, if you follow me on Snapchat, then you already know, I had to cut off three fingers worth. My hair lady was like, I'm sorry, it is just way too dead. We have to chop those off. I was like, ah, okay. It, for me, it was just so much. 
And so I wanted to have, I love having hair treatments like this because I feel like my hair definitely needs it. And especially mine that is color treated. So I picked this guy up just for that so that we can work on those ends because, huh. From Lady Moss, I stopped there. They gave me this little baggie. They didn't give me one of those big ones. I asked them, I was like, where's your big bags? And they were like, I know, I'm sorry. We were delayed on our order and so we didn't get them in time. I was like, I'm just teasing. I just thought it was so funny. They were like so sad about it. Like, oh man, we really wanted to get them. <laughs> but they didn't get them in time. I was like, oh, that's so cute. Okay. So I got from Lady Moss these Coco Lashes. Katie had just recently talked about these from Luster Lux. Um, she, these are the Madame, Madame Wispies, and this is what they look like right here. They are so flirty and separated. These are the, actually the kind of lashes that I gravitate towards, so as soon as I saw them, I was like, yes, these are the ones I'm definitely gonna go for. And then also from Red Cherry Lashes, I picked up these two. Uh, these are in the style... What the heck? Delany? <laughs> Number 600. Well, this is what they look like. Um, these, I think, were the ones that, they look similar to ones that I absolutely adored from them. Um, I wore them in one of my videos that I did a smoky eyeliner. And I love these so much that I had to pick up a couple more. I stopped by this uh, booth and their brand is called Kate. And it's this, uh, there's, their owner is a, she looks like a fairly young girl, but she, uh, we were talking to her, Kimberly and myself. Kimberly was the one that stopped by her booth and we were talking to them. They seemed really nice. There's a couple of them. I think one of them is the owner and the other one was um, helping her out. But I picked up this uh, uh, lip scrub and it's called Sugar Sugar and the flavor is cotton candy. And, whoop. Let me get this open. Um, oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells just like cotton candy. So here's the deal. I used to love me some Lush lip, lip scrub, but honestly, I just, I got tired of it. The bubble gum, I think, doesn't smell good. There's another flavor, popcorn or something like that, that I, ugh, I really don't like. And then the uh, one that I actually did like was the mint one, but I feel like it just got old. Um, I just used it and then I felt like, I don't know, like those products expire so quickly too. So I was like, eh, I feel like they're just kind of, I'm over it basically. So I picked up this one. I was very intrigued and this cotton candy scent smells amazing. And I tried them when I was there at the show and it was really moisturizing and nourishing, so I cannot wait to try these. We also stopped by Eye Candy, and I picked up this little one, and it, I think you choose three colors, and it also brings the adhesive and the brush. I have been eyeballing this, you guys, since two years ago, and I've been wanting it, but I was like, no, I don't need it, I don't, I'm fine. But then this year, when we went, um, one of the girls that I went with was like, I already got something from them and they look really pretty. Oh, okay, she's gonna totally get me to get them. But I got three different colors. This one's more like a mermaidy color, which speaks to me. Do you see the relationship to turquoise there? <laughs> yeah, so I got that. And then I also got this silvery one because I really wanna play with it on special occasions like 4th of July or um, New Year's, just, you know, any festivities, I feel like it would be like a really awesome pop of color. And then I also got this one, which is like gold, but it's got flecks of other, like, um, specks of, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's kind of, um, depends how the light hits it. It just gives you like a different color. So it's like mixed with gold. Anywho, this is what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can even see that but it's really pretty and I tried them all and it was super hard to figure out which one I was going to get because they're just so pretty. And this is the brush it comes with. And here's the adhesive right here. So we'll see what makeup looks I can come up with. I feel like it's so much to play with. And the last thing that I picked up was from Bioderma. Um, I had been wanting to pick up, oh, I forgot my little guy. Um, I have been wanting to try Bioderma for the longest time. My friend Talia, shout out to Talia, hi girl, hey! 
Um, she let me try hers when I went on vacation. We met up in, actually I think it was for the Knicks Face Awards last year. Um, and she brought her Bioderma bottle with her. Um, uh, and she let me try it and it felt amazing. I was like, oh, I need to buy me one of these. But I can't ever find them here in stores. Uh, and they had a good sale. I think it was these two bottles plus a travel size and it was only $20. So I immediately said, please, yes. And so the, uh, and the travel size I can actually travel with because it's only three ounces. I don't have it with me. I have it uh, packed away with my other travel necessities. So I was very happy to see this. These are 16.7 ounces each. And so whenever I run out of my other one, I can, I'm at my travel size, I can just refill it with one of these. So I really, really like these. I cannot wait to put it to good use uh, to just take away the whole day at the end of my day. And that is all, you guys. Can you believe it? That is everything that I purchased at Fame Expo. I am so proud of myself. Mama did do it. See, I got really, I, I got through this super quickly. I feel like it was super quickly. Maybe it wasn't, because mama likes to talk. <laughs> but um, yeah, I didn't pick up as much as I did last year. If you watch my videos from last year and the year before, which I will link them down below. And also I'll probably leave your card somewhere up here. So you can check out all the stuff that I purchased last year and the year before. I, yeah, I got quite a lot of stuff. But uh, yeah, this year I feel like I was good went in and I got what I wanted and that was it. So yeah, I hope that you guys have enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on my next diary entry. Un besote. Bye.